What is going on guys? My name is Hexry and welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to a FNAF VHS tape titled Non-Existent Video. This was uploaded by Baddington, which for those of you who don't know who Baddington is, they are a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's VHS tape creator and they've, I think, done their own little like kind of twist on the FNAF VHS tapes with like their own characters and stuff. But they also have a like a version of the FNAF VHS tapes, which are very, very creepy to say the least. I'm a fan of analog horror and VHS tapes on their own, but when it comes to those involving FNAF, it's even better. If you guys enjoy this reaction, and you're looking forward to seeing me react to more stuff in the future then definitely do let me know by dropping a like on the video as well as subscribing to the channel if you're new as of recording this we are very close to 400 subscribers so if you guys could subscribe it'll you know help me out if you guys have any recommendations for future things you want me to react to then do let me know down in the comment section of the video as well as if you don't want to leave a comment you can join my discord server which is in the link of only my reaction videos you know go into the suggestions text channel and then leave your suggestions for things you want me to react to anyways without any further ado let's go ahead and get started Okay, so this one involves Fred Bear's family. I'm gonna turn on Welcome captions. To the costume assembly training tape. There are two types of suits: Fred Bear and Bonnie Bon. Bonnie Bon. These suits double as both animatronic suits and wearable costumes for performers. It's efficient and eliminates any differences in appearance as to not break the immersion. Okay. The wearable costumes will only be used when an animatronic is in repair. Oh, we're getting right into it. Okay. Oh, he's looking right at you in the spring lock suit. Oh! Hello, Afton. What the hell? Evacuate the premises? What is that? What is that? Whoa! It had the, uh, the sister location the stuff. The face place. to your body when being worn. It will help support all the weight of the heavy components and is responsible for holding all the spring locks. I like the little close up on the spring locks. All the springs used to attach to the animatronic. However, these springs Ooh. can be very dangerous if the suit is not prepped carefully. To prep the costume into suit mode, we shall start by winding up all the spring locks with a hand crank. Insert the hand crank into the lock sockets located behind the animatronic. Okay. There are ten lock sockets in total. Two on each limb, one on the back of the body, and one behind the head. Next. Simple so far. Oh, there is going to be something underneath the head. Never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. Then peel off the fabric costume. Once removed, you'll need to detach the fiberglass shell from the exoskeleton. Lastly, remove the exoskeleton from the animatronic. Did the did the voice just go down in pitch? To put on your foot? What? The spring locks too much. Next, you'll need to reattach the fiberglass shell back on. Then, put on the fabric layer. Once applied properly, put on the gloves and feet. Lastly, Simple so far. You'll need to put on the head. But before you do, you'll need to put the head into performer mode by winding up a small socket on the inside of the head to reveal the fake eyes. Oh. In the event of a spring lock failure, do not panic. 
Keep as still as possible and call for help. Calm your breathing and have a partner wound up the hand crank to lock the spring locks once more. To then lock them? And gently remove the suit. Oh, okay. You think it's actually possible to survive a spring lock failure? I want to know. Red bear jump. Whoa, hey, hey, we'll go back. We'll read that um after. That had something to do with like a jaw upgrade. Okay, we got a kid. Is this the crying child? I'm gonna assume that's a crying child. Hello. Okay, so this is post bite of 83. I can't tell what the music playing in the background is, so if somebody could tell me, that'd be great. I bit someone, 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 I bit someone. Oh, oh, wait, what is in front of him? Oh, four tapes hidden inside their empty heads. Okay, we've seen this before in the old ones. Foxy meets the happy man. That's one of the scariest ones. Michael. There's something I want to show you. Should I be reading this in a British accent? <laughs> Before your brother died, something else happened. What if this isn't like William Afton though? Something was wrong with the suits. Watch. Someone's about to get spring locked. Yep. Can we just like imagine how painful a spring lock failure would be? Let me tell you a secret. The same thing happened to your father. Okay, so this isn't William. It killed him. But only for a while. He came back, didn't he? It's gonna say he came back. Oh no, he's still out there. Do you want to find him? Oh my god. I'll show you. That's a very creepy model of the puppet. Fazbear's Frights. I like that logo. Don't worry about times, dates, or locations. You'll know when it happens. Oh. There will be a gasoline canister in the back next to the second exit. Your father will be there in the building with you. He will look different, but you will know it's him. Then we can end this. For good. I know how you feel, Michael. It's a lot of responsibility. But when this is done, we'll be free. You'll be free too. Why does it say so? It may not seem like it. But I believe your brother will forgive you. I've forgiven you too. You are good, Michael. Despite what you might think, you do deserve this happy ending. I've been working all this time to give you that opportunity. I love you, Michael. Oh. Oh, and then here's the end of the performance. Remember that a friend is the best thing you could ever have. When life gets you 
down, a friend will be there to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was that was a fun song. I got stuck in a water machine. <laughs> What? And that's it. That was that was creepy. I liked it. I really liked how creepy that was. What the hell is this? Nine disturbing British PSAs. That was that was cool. I liked that. That was creepy. So I have to go and read wherever that thing was. It was probably like around this area, maybe. Yeah, it's here. Okay. If you guys don't know, um, I'm pretty sure Baddington's VHS tapes are like just his own twist on again like regular VHS tapes for FNAF, but also like his own little twist on Squimpus McGrimpus's VHS tapes. And what I mean by like his own little twist is it's basically like the exact same premise as the uh, VHS tape Squimpus McGrimpus made, but it's like, you know, Baddington's own models. Anyways, I, I do want to read this. So Fredbear jaw upgrade. Fredbear's costume was designed with a large jaw to hold all the teeth for a full smile. Unfortunately, that means modifications were needed for the animatronic to function properly. The Fredbear animatronic had problems with moving its jaw with all the additional weight. Both animatronics were designed with the intention of having smaller features, with Bonnie Bun being the main focus for design. To compensate for Fredbear's large jaw, we've installed two additional hydraulics on both sides of the animatronic's jaw. Fredbear is fully calibrated and ready to perform again. So they gave Fredbear a bigger jaw, but it was so big that they needed to add like more pressure, more hydraulic pressure to his jaw. So if they didn't do that, Evan might not have died. Evan is the name of the crying child. So if they didn't do that, then they would not have killed him yeah very interesting very interesting to say the least anyways that was my reaction to the baddington vhs video titled uh, non-existent video if you guys want to check this video out for yourself i will have the link down in the description below so you guys can click on it you know go to this video like it subscribe to baddington show your support i don't know why i'm not subscribed to baddington but uh yeah show your support to baddington sure a lot of effort went into this as i said at the beginning of the video if you guys do have any more recommendations for videos you want me to react to in the future then please do let me know by either joining my discord server and typing up your suggestion in the uh suggestions text chat or leave a comment down in this video and i'll be sure to check it out and you know if i haven't seen it already then i'll react to it maybe if you guys haven't already subscribed then i highly recommend you do because we are very close to 400 subscribers and i want to hit 400 subscribers and then 500 subscribers as soon as possible so let's see how fast we can hit that like the video if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one so peace out